Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of my new series Hike and Paint. This is the series where I go hiking in the beautiful New Zealand wilderness with my trusty push-out box to paint some beautiful landscapes around here. In today's episode, I will be walking up Grandview Mountain in Lake Hawea to paint at the top. So I'm here at Grandview to start up a track. Got my backpack, my push-out box in there. And yeah, let's see if I can paint somewhere up there. Grandview Mountain is one of my favorite hiking tracks around Hawea. It's just nice and easy. It's not too hard. It has a couple of small river crossings at the start, but nothing too serious. I started really early in the morning, so the first bit was quite cold. And I was really pleased to see the sun finally up there. Now on the track I met a couple of friends, some cows. They just wouldn't leave the track. I would meet them again on the way down and they would block the track off. But I like cows so that was good. I really like the tussocks up in the higher parts of the mountain. With the snow it just looks so cool. As I got closer to the summit a lot of clouds and fog appeared and blocked my view. And I swear that always happens when I go up a mountain to paint. There's always fog with something blocking the view. And honestly I think I'm cursed. So after about two and a half hours I finally reached the top and yeah the view is basically gone. Right so here I am at the summit and things aren't ideal as you can see. I'm just gonna wait it out and have a hiking mandarin. I have to say I did quite enjoy watching the clouds go past like this. It's quite nice when you know that you're on the top of a mountain you can see above the clouds. But it was freezing cold. It's cleared up a little bit. It's still not ideal. It's not exactly what I came for. But that's alright. I'm still going to paint it. So the colours I'm going to be using here are Burnt Umber, Ultramarine Blue, Turquoise, Magenta, um, yellow ochre, titanium whites, and yeah, let's see how we go. So as always, I start with the sky, and then do the mountains, and work my way forward to whatever is closest to me. It was quite tricky because the clouds kept coming back, and half of the time I couldn't even see what I was painting. But this is what you get when you do plein air painting, I guess. Now, of course, when I finish my painting, it clears up. Typical. Here I am again, back in the studio, got my Pashad box with me and here's the painting I started up the mountain. That's what it looks like right now. I think it's a bit faded, there's not a lot of detail because I didn't have a lot of time. I mean, half of the time I couldn't even see the scene. But yeah, it's time to finish it off in the studio and that's what I'm going to do now. I will be using the same colours I used up the mountain. I'm also going to introduce burnt sienna. If you mix that with white and um, yellow ochre, I think it gives a really nice um, warm tone. So while I'm painting these areas again, I am referring to a reference photo I took up the mountain. 
The photo didn't have all of the elements in there that I painted though, so I also had to paint from memory a little bit. But that was not too hard since I sat up there for a long time waiting for the clouds to go past, so I had a lot of time to remember everything. So this is the finished piece. I hope you enjoyed coming on this little adventure with me and I'm hoping to be going hiking again soon. See you then. Bye.